Happy Sunday to everyone. Hey, I'm just wanting to try to get some input on whether or not you do like these Sunday snippets. I've gotten some good feedback from other members, but if you can go inside of the one of the Facebook groups, it doesn't matter if it's the community or the Academy member community, if you could just say, yes, Michelle, keep going with those Sunday snippets, or just let me know that you are enjoying the Sunday snippets. That would be great. Um, this week, we are continuing on with what's new to 2020. We might do one more the following week, um, next weekend, but I'm not really sure. This might be the last one for the what's new in November. Last week, we did a, a short episode on... Let me look at my notes here. I think it was the smoothing of the skin, which a lot of people really enjoyed. This week, it's the object removal. Just remember that you can do these in earlier versions of Photoshop, so don't think that you have to run out and go buy 2020. What I would advise you to do if you are a member, to go back and rewatch the 2018 and then the 2019 and then 2020, what's news, in all of those just to see if you need to upgrade or not. So let's go ahead and move on to this next little segment. We have the guided feature, which features the object removal. This is pretty cool, but then again, you can do this in earlier versions. So let me just take this and duplicate it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take out some of these little guys. I want to call them swans, but I don't think that they're swans. I think they're, are they egrets? I don't know. Any of you who are bird people, let me know. Pelicans. I'm so far off, aren't I? They're pelicans. Oh, my gosh. I should have known that. All right. So let's go ahead and take this little guy and tell him to go away. So we're going to go into the guided section. And it's under basics and object removal. Okay, so basics, the very first one, and object removal on the bottom left-hand corner. And this is pretty cool, but it also can be done in earlier versions. So I'm going to take my brush tool on the right-hand side. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let me just take this pelican out, and I'm just going to highlight over the top of it. I think you can do more than one at a time. So let's just try this other pelican right here. Just highlighting over what I want to get rid of. And then over here, uh, it says add, subtract. We're going to just go ahead and remove and cross our fingers and they're gone. Pretty cool, right? So did you guys all catch that? Let me do that again. Let me go backwards. So what I did was I took, you can take any of these. So if I take the quick selection, I can take the quick selection and select around the pelican number one. I like the brush best because it's a little bit more controlling. And then I'm gonna hold down my, I don't think I even have to hold down my shift key. I'm adding to it. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to remove object. And bam, they're gone. So if you have an earlier version, don't worry because you can still do the same thing. So let's go in. I'm going to go into the expert mode. And we're going to do the same thing only in the earlier version. So you can use what's called, I mean, we can use a bunch of different things. I myself just go ahead and try the spot healing brush. So I get my spot healing brush. I make the brush size pretty big and I'm just going to go ahead and go over the top of pelican number one and goodbye. Pelican number two, goodbye. Um, you might have to go in there and fiddle faddle with it a little bit, but if you zoom out, you don't really see much of a difference. Now you can do a couple other things too. You could use the, what is it called? Let me just go back, control. Z a few times and bring them back. You could possibly use this thing, what's called content aware move. And I know I went through this before, but we don't use it a whole lot. So if I go in here and I say, okay, I want to get rid of this pelican. I'm going to, I'm going to take this. I'm going to move it over the top of the pelican. 
you might have to do it a couple times. Okay, you see what I just did there? So let me do that again. I take the Content Aware Move tool. I'm going to take a little bit of this over here, and then I move it over the top of it. And click on OK. Now, you might have to go back in and use that spot healing brush just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, because I know that some of you say, oh, but I can tell that you did something there. But yeah, you can do that too, Melanie. Now, let's use another photo here real quick. File and open.